Workers in the aviation sector have threatened to commence a nationwide strike in the next two weeks if the federal government does not meet their demands. The workers want the government to expunge alleged uh, obnoxious anti-labor clauses in the proposed laws of agencies in the industry. TVC News correspondent Jokadisa has the story. The government is seeking to amend and or enact laws to further regulate the aviation sector through its agencies. While the workers yearn for laws that impact the sector and their lives, they accuse the authorities of plans to take away their rights to unionism. Among the clauses in contention is the one seeking to grant power to the Minister of Aviation to regulate not only the sector, but the activities of the workers. Government, by the clause, seeks to classify the sector as an essential service provider, hence the need to ban strikes and protests. This is why the workers have gathered on the first working day of the week at the Inamdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja. They say government's action violates the provisions of the Trade Dispute Act and other labor laws, including that of the International Labor Organization. We don't carry guns, but we have a strength in the unity and our numbers. The strength to shut down without going to court. The strength to picket. The strength to protest. Comrades, this strength given to us by our forefathers is what the present administration wants to take out from us. From the General Aviation Terminal through the International Airport and to the toll gate, the workers defied security presence to pass across their message. They went behind and slot in such clauses that take away our rights and our voices. We will not be allowed to carry out strikes. We will not be allowed to carry out picketing. We will not be allowed to carry out lockout. Our members are not happy. You can see their faces, the high level of aggression in them. But with, with, with our ability, we are coming them down. They have written separate letters to the two aviation committees of the National Assembly demanding their intervention. The unions also called the President Muhammadu Buhari to decline assent to the controversial clauses they alleged were inserted after public hearings on the bills. The workers have vowed to use all legitimate labor means to resist every attempt by the federal government to take away their voices. And they have spoken here indeed in one voice. They remain united and united they will continue to stand to the end of this struggle. TVC News, Abuja.